Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you what I think is the best way to create custom palettes using Inkscape. I'll also be showing you how to import palettes into Inkscape and I'll be using Inkscape 1.0 which is the latest version of Inkscape at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of Inkscape and GIMP tutorials on here, my GIMP book of layers, and free software help articles, so definitely check that out. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So let's dive right in here to the tutorial. Here I am inside of Inkscape. I've just opened up a new document. And here at the bottom of the Inkscape window, you'll see there is the swatches bar or the swatches panel. This is just going to display all of the swatches found inside of a palette. And on the far right side, you'll see a little triangle menu. And here you have an option to change this. So right now I have my custom palette set up here. The Inkscape default is going to look like this, which is going to be what most of you see. And you have this little scroll bar to scroll through. So clicking on this menu, most of these will be palettes found by default inside of Inkscape but there is a way to import your own custom palettes. So first what you wanna do is locate the palettes folder on your computer. Inkscape does provide a user palette folder. That way you don't screw up the default palettes that come with GIMP or accidentally delete them. So to find that, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and here under System, you're going to see a series of folders here, and one of these is User Palettes. So you can just look at the address here, which you can see on my computer is my C drive, my main user folder here, app data, roaming, Inkscape palettes, or you can click this open button and this is going to open up that folder inside of your file explorer on Windows or a finder window on Mac. And I've already got three custom palettes in here. This one is from my last tutorial. So up top, you can see the various folders I have to access to get to this folder. The issue is that some of these files are going to be hidden by default. I believe the app data folder is going to be hidden on everybody's computer. So you have to show the hidden files to be able to navigate to this file manually. So come over here to view if you're in Windows and make sure hidden items is checked. If you're using a Mac, use command shift dot and that will show all the hidden files inside of your finder window. So I'll remember this address here for this folder and minimize this, and then we can exit out of our preferences. Next, of course, I'll need an actual palette to use here. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to this website called coolers.co. I actually really like this website. And I clicked on the explore tab here, and this just gives you a variety of palettes. You can scroll through and see which one you like to use in a composition. And so I'm gonna use this one right here. And what I'm gonna do is export this. So I'll click on this little icon here for the menu and go to export palette. And you'll see a variety of options here. The one I recommend is going to be the SVG. So that stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and Inkscape does read SVG files. And I did originally save this as blue pink palette. That's kind of like a purplish pink. Let me know what color that is in the comments. Uh, so we can save this blue pink palette. Let me just save this as two since I already have this saved. So it's saving it as an SVG file and I'll click save. And now what I'll do is click this little triangle here and go to show in folder. And this is going to show me the folder where this downloaded. Now I need to open up this file into Inkscape. So I'll either double click on it if you already have SVG files set up to open in Inkscape, or you might need to right click, go to open with and choose Inkscape vector graphics editor. So here is the palette opened up as an SVG file into Inkscape. And when you click on each one of these, you'll see it automatically created a rectangle and filled it in with the color. We don't necessarily need this text, so you can delete that. What I'll have to do with this is go to File, Save As. And this is the current folder where this is saved. So we already have blue pink palette two as an SVG file. What I need to do though from here is I need to navigate to my palettes folder. So remembering where the palettes were located from before. And you'll see here my app data folder is hidden. So that's why we had to show hidden files, but now we can see it here. 
and you're going to click into Inkscape all the way into Palettes. So here is your Palettes folder and you'll have to change the file type of this to a GPL file, which is a GIMP palette file. And here you'll see the other GPL files I had in that folder. And now I'll click save and that custom palette will be saved into Inkscape. Another option if you don't want to navigate through all of your files is you can just have this file explorer opened up. So this is the one we created from Inkscape that shows where our user palettes are located. And let's say you save that .gpl file to this same folder where you downloaded the palette originally. What you could do, so for example, here's a GPL file, is just simply click and drag this GPL file into your palettes folder here. And I already have that same GPL file in here. So I'm actually just going to cancel that. But that will bring your GPL file into your palettes. And now let's minimize this. So regardless of which way you did this, you'll have to exit out of Inkscape. And I'm just going to close this without saving because I don't need it. And make sure if you have any other documents open, you close those out as well. And then I'm just going to open Inkscape back up. So now we're back inside of Inkscape. Let's come over to this little menu. And now you'll see we have the blue pink palette too. And when I click on it, here is that palette. And you'll see here that the palette ordered these swatches from left to right. So that's how they're gonna be ordered. If you wanted to do the same method, but using your own custom palette, so instead of exporting a palette from something like coolers.co, you wanted to create the palette inside of Inkscape, all you have to do is just draw however many rectangles you need for the number of swatches you want in your palette. So Control D, we're just gonna duplicate this. Let's say we wanted three colors, and we'll come back to the Inkscape default and just select three random colors here. So we'll go teal, green, and red. So let's say you created a palette this way. You can do the same thing. So go to File, Save As, and you're gonna save this as, let's just go random palette. Make sure this is saved as a GPL file. Click Save. And I just saved that in the original folder here uh, where I downloaded this. So I'm going to, where I downloaded the coolers.co palette. But there is that random palette we just created. Click and drag that inside here. Exit out of Inkscape again. open Inkscape back up, and now when I come over here and go to randompalette.gpl, now you'll see here is that random palette I just created. It added in this black palette here, which is fine, but here is the green, the teal, and the red. So for most of you, that was all you needed from this tutorial, but I will show you one additional method for creating palettes to bring inside of Inkscape, and that's using GIMP. I do use GIMP very often. It's a free photo editor or photo manipulation software, very similar to Photoshop. So I'll come over here and open up GIMP. This is gonna be really quick. So here I am inside of GIMP, and let's say you created a palette using one of the various methods available for creating palettes inside of GIMP. I have an entire tutorial dedicated to that subject, but let's say you've created a palette and I can open up my palettes by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and coming down here to Palettes. So here are my palettes and I can scroll through these. Here was the palette I originally created for my last Inkscape tutorial. I can actually right click on here and go to show in file manager. And here is the GPL file that's created from my custom palette. If that show in file manager option is not available to you, just close down GIMP and reopen it. That will save your custom palette here to the user palettes folder. And then that show in file manager option should be available to you. But now what I can do is open up the Inkscape palettes folder here and simply click and drag this into the Inkscape Palettes folder. And I've already got this one in here, so I'm not going to drag it in there. But then you would follow the same steps of closing down Inkscape and reopening it, and that custom palette would then be located inside of Inkscape. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.